please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list hello namaskar and adab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance one of the important things that is very very basic in astrology but sometimes we miss it is the relationship between the strands of the lagna itself and the lagna lord so if the lagna is very strong and the lagna lord is not well placed will a person still get very good results or on the flip side if the lagna is not very strong but the lagna lord is placed very well maybe even in exaltation then does the person get good results so in this video where i'm talking about lagna versus lagna lord is a common theme which is found in many horoscopes generally either the lagna or the lagna lord may not be in the best of situations one will definitely be stronger or slightly weaker than the other now here i'm talking about in a situation where if there is less difference between the two then more or less they will manifest similar strengths either they will give both of them will give, give great strengths or both of them will give okay strengths or okay results or they may give challenging results if both of them are in challenging situations but i'm talking about if one is more very high in strength than the other very high in dignity than the other and very high in terms of placements than the other then what happens so if the lagna is very very strong then how will the lagna lord manifest its results and what will the overall results look like and on the other hand if the lagna lord is very very strong and well placed in good dignity and if the lagna is not well placed then how what kind of results will the individual face so yeah simple rule is that both of them obviously have to be good but what does lagna represent the lagna represents overall who you are it represents your thinking it represents your stature in society it represents how you are seen by others how much of respect you have it represents your health it also represents the direction of the purpose of life and so it is indirectly or in some way connected to the purpose of life and it is also connected to how overall the things that are manifesting in life are affecting the overall you in terms of personality in terms of character in terms of your rise in life or in terms of where you overall going to go to so the lagna represents that now what does the lagna lord represent because the lagna is more or less constant in terms of what it manifests the lagna lord by virtue of which house it goes to which sign it goes to and which dignity it is in will manifest what kind of the results will the person get and how will the lagna manifest itself through the lagna lord which means how will the person get his or her status in society how will the person get his respect in society which area he will be able to manifest more where would he be able to manifest his purpose of life better where will his attention go and where would his karma go where would his work go so wherever the lagna lord is placed that area is where the zodiac is giving us the biggest strength in terms of achievements in life achievements of our karma achievements of getting respect achievement of getting higher stature in society and being well known and adulation also so the lagna lord placement tells where the lagna will be manifesting itself so wherever the lagna lord is placed if the lagna lord is placed very very strongly then because of how the lagna lord and the individual's own effort is manifesting the lagna will also get its results because the lagna is only a potential given strong potential given however its manifestation is through the lagna lord and so if the lagna lord is very weak then what happens the potential of the lagna is definitely there but the lagna lord going into a tough placement means that generally overall results of life are in the a questionable area so if the lagna lord is getting debilitated or combusted say for example in the 5th house then results in speculative investments results in romance results con uh, connected to children results pertaining to arts performances definitely all will be affected and in these areas of life the person will not be able to achieve much to be able to then contribute to the lagna to be able to contribute to his status in life to his overall respect in life to his rise in life and so 
the placement of the lagna lord is in, is very very important because that area is where the lagna is manifesting itself so if the lagna lord is bad or well not well placed in the fifth house the fifth house results cannot help the person be able to overall rise in life and get good results if the lagna lord is for example in a in a bad state and bad dignity in the ninth house then the person education cannot be of much help to him usually the person may not get his livelihood or his career or a job in the area in which his education is connected many people where the lagna lord gets into a tough placement in the ninth house and may be debilitated or combusted will find that education itself may be a problem and later on deriving gains from the education is a problem so definitely his rise in life his status in life his stature in life will not come from education because the lagna lord is in a tough spot of bother and may be in, in combustion and debilitation or even retrograde in the ninth house then how does the result come from then the results come from the other supporting elements to the lagna if there are planets which aspect the lagna if there are planets which are placed in the lagna then the status in life the stature in life come from those areas say for example let us take an example of a kal purush kundli where aries is the lagna and the lagna lord is mars now let's say mars gets debilitated in the fourth house in cancer now which is the exact degree according to the shlokas at which mars gets debilitated mars gets debilitated at the 28th degree so at 28 degrees which navamsa will mars be seen in at 28th degree uh, mars gets into the navamsa of pisces which means in the navamsh mars will be seen in the pisces sign so which is the pisces sign in the lagna pisces sign rules the 12th house in the lagna so in the lagna chart because pisces sign rules the 12th house and mars has gone into the 4th house at the 28th degree in the navamsa of pisces so the 4th house where mars is placed in debilitation and the 12th house in which navamsa it is get connected now what is the 12th house the 12th house is the house of waste and excess giving up losing having problems from and even court cases or even jail terms and mars is in the fourth house in a debilitation sign what is the fourth house fourth house is your assets fourth house is physical conveniences um fifth, uh, fourth house is also land property cars fourth house is also mother fourth house is also a domestic peace and mental happiness so if mars goes in debilitation and mars is not in a good state so the person may face losses concerning property concerning his um, his conveniences concerning his land or may have a tough time in his domestic life his relationship with mother may not be good distance with mother may also be seen and generally either the person may be very very aggressive at his home or may be too cold cold hearted and not be able to showcase the affection the empathy the understanding in his domestic life because mars is debilitated and mars is also effort so may not be able to put enough effort to be able to keep the household happy and keep the peace at home and because of that his losses may also come from the fourth house so losses in domestic life losses in peace of mind loss of mother or distance from mother not given being able to get enough uh, love and support from mother or from spouse or from family and also not getting good gains from physical assets or land and revenue so definitely this is a challenge but if the lagna is very very strong for example here the fifth house lord sun goes and gets exalted in the lagna itself so the lagna lord now is debilitated but the fifth lord is exalted in the lagna then what happens so the lagna because the lagna being very very strong that lagna will definitely get some results from that area where the planet which is connected to is giving its potential from which means because sun rules the fifth house here the person because of lagna lord being in a spot of bother in the fourth house get challenges from the fourth house but the lagna will be exalted from the fifth house planet sun ruling the fifth house getting exalted in the lagna which means in terms of his performances in terms of his career changes in term of, in terms of his job and when he makes the move he will always rise very very high or he will always make a move for the better his children will be doing very well and through his children he may get a lot of name status and also may get conveniences of in from of life 
this person may also have very well to do children where in terms of children get very very good results from life if the person is a is a performer is, is an artistic performer then the person may be great artist he may not make a lot of money because mars in the fourth house is in a spot of bad bother so the material conveniences may not come he may not be able to accum accumulate money if he even if he earns the expenses may be so high that he is not able to make physical assets but he may get a lot of love and respect and adulation in society because fifth house ruler sun which also stands for respect adulation is now getting exalted in the lagna so the person may not get good results because of the lagna lord in not in good dignity in certain areas of life but in other areas of life because the lagna is very strong he gets good results and this may be added by say for example there are two or three benefits aspect in the lagna jupiter aspects the lagna from the ninth house moon or venus aspect the lagna from the seventh house venus in the seventh house means venus is in libra and then aspecting the seventh house if moon is in the seventh house moon rules the fourth house for a kal purush kundli and now in the seventh house this is also raj yoga and now aspecting the lagna so the person may be good to look at his performances may be great very rich in performances and he may do very well even in business because the fifth house is also business is finance seventh house is partnerships and also money he may still make his money in partnerships in investments also speculative investments also however his assets may not be very strong his assets may not be long lasting so if he makes a property something may happen in the property he may have to sell it a property gets into a spot of bother all the time so he may get a lot of money and if he invest it in share market or something that is better for him rather than make physical assets tangible assets so this is how the lagna and the lagna lord play out the result basis which dignity the lagna lord is and which what dignity and strength the lagna is and this is the result of lagna versus lagna lord so when you do the analysis of any horoscope including your own please do look into first very very important how strong the lagna is if the lagna is very very strong then one third of the challenges of the of life is over because if lagna has benefic aspects there is a benefic planets in the lagna some avenue all of life will keep you afloat will not let you drown if the lagna lord is also in very very strong strength then another 25 to 30 percent of your challenges over 50 percent of your challenges from a potential perspective the potential that the zodiac gives you is definitely over beyond that of course you will have to put in hard work you will have to put in your self enterprise to make it come good there is no guarantee and so you have to put the effort to get the potential right and if there are more benefits involved the most strength it is giving much better but if one of them is in a spot of bother if lagna is in a spot of bother and lagna lord is very very good then the other happens the opposite happens the lagna lord will get get very very good results in certain area of life if the lagna lord gets exalted or in very good state for example in the ninth house then the person may get very good educational qualification may be able to pass his degrees and get very very high degrees with flying colors and he may get two ma's phd's and all but because the lagna is weak where how come the, how can the lagna be be weak where there are malefics place in the lagna malefics aspecting the lagna saturn is aspecting the lagna for example or ketu is placed in the lagna then why the lagna lord is placed very well in the ninth house and the lagna becomes weak then in spite of getting very high education in spite of traveling the world in spite of having contacts around the world yet the person may not be able to rise much in life he may not be able to get the love the affection and you know riches in life or at least the dignity in life and be respected and people may not really put him on a pedestal though he may make money also to an extent his educational qualifications may very be very high he may travel the world he may have good connections around the world but we also see many people around us who are very very highly qualified but they are not able to make much out of their life this may be a case where the lagna itself is in poor dignity while the lagna lord is placed well in the ninth house so wherever the lagna lord is placed very very well some results will surely come out of that wherever the lagna lord goes weak but the lagna is strong because of connection with other signs of the planets those areas will also manifest however for a rich life for a good life for a well rounded life for a life of good stature good dignity and making some legacy and leaving behind some something good um, as as a way of of a example of a life both the lagna and the lagna lord have to be at least good in stature if not the best so friends analyze your own 
lives look at the, the dignity of the horoscope overall look at the lagna what status or what strength it is in what dignity it is in similarly check the lagna lord what status it is in what dignity it is in what strength it is in and are they synergizing are they sharing energies between each other or one is letting the other one down so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me at the links given below until some other time some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide irfan signing off ciao